This is not the end for you. Get up. Life's knocked you down and you feel lost. You're uncertain and it's dark all around. You've been rejected, accused. You've run out of steam and lost your breath. You're wounded. Stuck with your thoughts, outside voices are muffled. Light is too bright. Darkness is intoxicating. Noise is all around and silence is a long lost friend. Lost, you can't see a way out. Feeling alone, isolated and getting back up is not fathomable. But this is not the end for you. Get up. I know you don't want to. Elijah didn't want to get up either. He'd had enough. Exhausted and discouraged, he lay down. He lay down his zeal for life. He lay down his ambitions and plans. He lay down and he slept. Trying to escape from it all, he stayed down and out of reach. He closed himself off, wanting life to shut down. But that wasn't the end for Elijah. God was just getting started. He still had a purpose. He still had time. He had a reason to live. So get up, God said. Get up. Sometimes the end of the road seems close, but it's a mirage. Doubt and despair creep in, telling you it's time to end the journey. But God says, there's more left in you. It's time to get up. It's time to prepare for the next season. It's time to pull back the covers, pick up your mat, shake the dust off your feet and press on. And I know it's tough, but this is not the end for you. Get up. God knows where you are. He's been where you've been. He knows what you're going through because he sent Jesus down and Jesus got back up. The cross wasn't the end for him. On the third day, God said, get up. Breath filled his lungs, the scars closed, the stone was rolled away, and Jesus got back up. You see, the God of the Bible is in the business of getting back up. He won't be knocked down, he can't be held down, and he won't let you down. Because this is not the end for you. So get up in the mighty name of Jesus. Get up.